Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia is speaking on the CBI summon that has been given to him. Listen in. और वित्त मंत्री होने के नाते उसके अंतिम चरण में जब वो उसको फाइनलाइज किया जा रहा है उस वक्त मेरी भूमिका यहाँ एक एक दिन मेरा कितना इम्पोर्टेंट है उसके लिए आ, मुझे पूरी उम्मीद है कि वो इस बात को ध्यान रखें आज़ा, 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 Please, Mr. Sodia, right outside his house, where he was giving, uh, you know, talking to the media and talking about the fact that he has been summoned by the CBI once again. The CBI has once again summoned Manish Sodia for questioning. He has summoned Manish Sisodia for questioning in the Delhi excise policy case today. The CBI has summoned him to its headquarters in Delhi in connection with the alleged excise policy scam. Now, according to sources, a fresh summon has been issued based on newly available evidence against Manish Sisodia in the Delhi liquor scam. Let's listen into what Manish Sisodia. I have told him that the Delhi finance minister has been at this time. एक एक दिन क्रूसियल है और मैं दिल्ली के बजट को फाइनलाइज करने में जुटा हुआ हूं। 24 घंटे लगा के मैं इस कोशिश में हूं कि फरवरी के एंड तक दिल्ली का बजट तैयार करके सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट के पास अप्रूवल के लिए भेज दिया जाए सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट की मंजूरी के बाद ही दिल्ली विधानसभा में बजट पेश होता है आप सब जानते हैं तो फरवरी का लास्ट वीक होने के नाते इस वक्त मेरा एक एक दिन बहुत क्रूसियल है बजट की तैयारियों के लिए क्योंकि बजट की तैयारी अपने अंतिम चरण में है तो मैंने उनसे रिक्वेस्ट किया है कि एक बार मैं बजट फाइनल कर लूं और फरवरी के एंड तक ये पूरा हो जाएगा उसके बाद फरवरी के लास्ट में या फरवरी के लास्ट के बाद में वो जब भी कोई तारीख तय करेंगे मैं निश्चित रूप से एक्साइज पॉलिसी को लेके उनके जो भी क्वेश्चन हैं उनका जवाब देना चाहूंगा इस पूरे मामले को और भी क्लियर करना चाहूंगा और मुझे खुशी होगी मैंने हमेशा जांच में सहयोग किया है आगे भी पूरा सहयोग रखूंगा लेकिन इस समय क्रूसियल टाइम है दिल्ली के बजट के लिए अगर एक एक दिन इसके लिए इम्पोर्टेंट है अगर इसमें कुछ डिस्टर्ब होता है तो दिल्ली के बजट के लिए तैयार करने में दिक्कत हो सकती है उसको फाइनलाइज करने में दिक्कत हो सकती है इसलिए मैंने उनसे रिक्वेस्ट किया है कि इसके बाद फरवरी के एंड के बाद में वो कभी भी मुझे बुलाएंगे तो मुझे खुशी होगी और उनके सारे सवालों के जवाब मैं दूंगा मुझे पूरी उम्मीद है कि सी के अधिकारी इस परिस्थिति को समझेंगे कि दिल्ली के लिए दिल्ली का बजट कितना महत्वपूर्ण है और वित्त मंत्री होने के नाते उसके अंतिम चरण में जब उसको फाइनलाइज किया जा रहा है My colleague Himanshu, who's right outside Manish Sisodia's house, is now joining me on the story. Himanshu, आप एक बार ये दिखाइए कि किस तरीके की security है Manish Sisodia के घर के बाहर और Sisodia Manish Sisodia का ये कहना है कि उन्होंने और समय मांगा है CBI से. बिल्कुल सबसे पहले देखिए यहाँ पर क्योंकि इस बात का अंदेशा था कि कार्यकर्ता पहुंच सकते हैं इसके लिए तमाम पैरामिलिट्री फोर्सेस के जवानों को दिल्ली पुलिस के जवानों को दिल्ली पुलिस के अधिकारी यहां पर पहुंच गए थे बैरिकेडों की व्यवस्था की गई थी कि अगर अचानक से लोग आते हैं तो किस तरीके से बैरिकेड करना है देखिए दिल्ली पुलिस के तमाम जो अधिकारी हैं वो यहां पर आपको मेन गेट पर ही सिक्योरिटी पर नजर आएंगे तो सुरक्षा के पूरे इंतजाम यहां पर किए गए थे आप देखिए ये मेन गेट की तस्वीर है जहां पर पैरामिलिट्री फोर्स के साथ दिल्ली पुलिस के तमाम अधिकारी यहां पर मौजूद हैं और आगे की तरफ मैं ऐश्वर्या अगर आपको दिखाऊं तो दूर उस तरफ आप देखिए दो लेयर बैरिकेड आगे भी लगा दिए गए थे कि अगर यहां पर आते हैं कार्यकर्ता तो उनको रोका जाए लेकिन इस बीच मनीष सिसोदिया बाहर निकले और उन्होंने ये कहा कि दरअसल ये बजट का वक्त है और वो अपने इन कामों में थोड़ा सा व्यस्त है तो सीबीआई से वो वक्त चाहते हैं और उन्होंने ये भी कहा कि शायद जो सीबीआई के अधिकारी हैं वो इनकी इस जरूरत को समझेंगे उनके इस काम के महत्व को समझेंगे और उन्हें वक्त मिलेगा तो ये अभी अभी उन्होंने ये बयान दिया और उसके बाद वो फिर अपने घर के अंदर चले गए हैं जी ऐश्वर्या जी हिमांशु My colleague Himanshu giving us all the details from right outside Manish Sisodia, the Deputy Delhi Chief Minister's house where security has been tightened. My colleague Ashutosh Mishra is standing at the Aam Aadmi Party headquarters. Ashutosh, we can see a lot of security right outside Manish Sisodia's house. What is the scene outside Aam Aadmi Party headquarters? <coughs> Well, uh, the preventive arrangements, Ashwarya, that you're seeing uh, right outside uh, Deputy CM's residence and also at Amadi Party headquarters, this is in anticipation of a possible showdown, if at all there was uh, 
a plan from the Amadi party. Remember when there was one summon issued by the CBI, then Deputy Chief Minister came here. There were you see all the uh, members of Parliament here, all the MLAs here, number of supporters here. So that was indeed a showdown. Well, literally there was almost a roadshow when he reached to uh, walk down all the way to CBI headquarters for the questioning. But here this was totally unlike the similar case. There was no call given to the party workers, nor the leaders, MPs or the MLAs to gather. But this was anticipation. But there could be some possibly law and order issues if there's a crowd. So to maintain everything that you see, all these barricades uh, on this Deen Deal Upadhyay Marg, uh, which is connecting both sides. One towards the BJP headquarter, another towards which goes to the ITU and through, you know, uh, that could reach probably at uh, 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 you know, the CGO complex where the CBI headquarter is located. And even at the CBI headquarter outside, there are, uh, you know, enough uh, adequate amount of security has been placed. But for now, what is happening, that in a case, because we know the by month end or the first week of March, there will be budget session of the Delhi government, but in the Delhi assembly, and then the deputy chief minister who also holds the key portfolio of finance ministry, the, he will table the budget of uh, the national capital. And at the same time, because it's in final shape, he has written a letter to the CBI seeking one week of time or certain exemptions that could possibly because so far every time the summon has been issued, he has appeared before the agency. So also maintaining the ground that he was always available for the questioning, always cooperated with the agency, always cooperated during the questioning. So this time this could be on a genuine ground of preparing the budget because remember, being a finance minister, he himself is responsible for preparing the budget of of the Delhi government. So in that case, uh, the letter has been written to the CBI. Now we have to see how much time the CBI is going to give him because on this particular ground, clearly that's also sent a signal because if he's somehow, you know, there is always right. anticipation because if he is detained or arrested and taken for questioning for longer, what will suffer is the budget, you know, throughout the year of this budget of Delhi government. So that's we have to see what response right. comes from the central agency. Right, Ashutosh. Thank you so much for giving us all those details. My colleague Ashutosh standing right outside Amadmi Party headquarters. My colleague Amit Bharatwaj is standing right outside Manish Sisodia's house. So, Amit, we understand there is very high security. If you can tell us the kind of police personnel that are present right outside Manish Sisodia's house. Last time when he was summoned, when the CBI was in fact inside his house, we did see how supporters had turned up in large numbers. Right, Ashwarya. You know, today was supposedly the big day in terms of the investigation in the excise policy case. And uh, for a matter of fact, Mr. Sisodia had confirmed yesterday that he is going to join the investigation and he will respond to the questions of the CBI. Right now, I am standing right outside the Deputy Chief Minister's residence where you could see the Delhi Police personnel are standing right outside his residence. Uh, Mr. Sisodia had stepped out of his house, uh, uh, you know, interacted with the media saying that he will not be able to join the investigation today because of uh, the uh, preparations in relations to the Delhi budget. Now, you know, uh, budget is something that any government would want a full-time finance minister to work upon. Uh, to deliver and that is precisely why now you have Mr. Sisodia coming out saying that this is the crucial time when the budget needs to be prepared, the final nitty-gritties of the budget uh, 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 must have been in the pipeline and uh, 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 that's why he's not joining the investigations today uh, and he also mentioned that he would be able to join the investigation by the end of the month which means the end of the February uh, uh, but uh, there, there are uh, you know, uh, there's a complete history to what is happening right. right now. In August, Mr. Sisodia's house, this very house was raided, uh, Shwarya, you would remember, the kind of situation which had uh, unfolded on the ground that day. Uh, that is why the Delhi police had to put up uh, more barricades and every time there's a CBI questioning, uh, scenes like this one do appear where you have multiple line of barricades at uh, Mathura Road where uh, Manish Sisodia's residence is located on both sides of the uh, street, uh, you have the uh, Delhi police personnel and the para personnel uh, deployed. And remember, there was a possibility, if at all, Mr. Sisodia had gone, come out of his house right, and, uh, uh, you know, joined the investigation. In that scenario, there, yes, in, in that scenario, Swarya, there was a possibility that the security would have been even more tightened. Back to you. Thank you, Amit, for giving me all those details from right outside Deputy Chief Minister of Delhi, Manish Sisodia's house.